Good morning guys, welcome back and welcome to today's video. So I feel like my last two to three videos, we've talked heavily about digestion, all the changes that I'm making and I just got a very exciting delivery in the mail so we are going to continue talking about that. I, I think, you know, my channel is all about just sharing my life with you guys and kind of what I'm going through and this is just what I'm going through at the moment. So I'm sorry if you're kind of like sick of hearing about it. Um, I know that I've been doing a lot of full days of eatings and grocery hauls but honestly, I also put out content that I personally really enjoy watching um, from other people and I feel like when I do that, I enjoy YouTube so much more. So fingers crossed you guys aren't sick of those videos yet, but I just have realized that so many of you are in the same boat as I am um, on the whole digestive issues train, so we're just trying to figure it all out together. Um, but I just got a very exciting shipment from Thrive Market. As you guys know, I have worked with Thrive so many times in the past. They are one of my favorite companies to partner with um, just because they do so much good. I'm sure that most of you guys are familiar with Thrive, but if you're not, they're just like an online grocery store, marketplace, whatever you want to call it. And I actually feel like with everything that I'm dealing with at the moment, Thrive could not be more beneficial to my life because um, the way that they categorize their stuff is very easy. There's so many products that I can't have, um, so many things like gluten, dairy, uh, preservatives, processed foods, and it's very easy to categorize their website based on those things. You don't have to search through every little teeny tiny ingredient. Um, they do the work for you, so that's kind of cool. Everything's also a lot cheaper. It's like 25 to 50% below the traditional retail price, so things that you can find at like Whole Foods, which I'll actually show you something that I used to purchase at Whole Foods, but now I can get it Thrive. I'm going to show you guys what's inside the box right now. Just certain food substitutions that I'm making in my diet. And something that I'm so excited about is their almond milk. I feel like I have researched, I, I'm, I would consider myself like an almond milk expert at this point. Because there's so many things in like regular almond milk that I used to have that I now can't have. For example, gums and stuff, those really irritate my stomach. So Thrive actually makes like their own almond milk. And as of right now, they're the only brand that I've been able to find that actually has like low calorie almond milk that only has three to four ingredients in it. Everything else is either really high in fat or has tons of processed stuff, like there's no in the middle, but they did it. So I haven't tried it yet. This will be the first time trying it, but I know it's in the box and I'm so excited. <laughs> here is what I'm most excited about. Um, it's the Thrive Market Organic Almond Milk. It is unsweetened and just look at the ingredients and then look at the macros. So for one cup it's 30 calories, 2.5 fat, one gram of carbs, and one gram of protein. Four ingredients, that's it. So just for comparison purposes, this almond milk right here has really good macros, pretty much the same macros as that, um, but the ingredient list is so extremely long and then it has xanthan gum in it, this other gum which really really hurts my stomach. So this one right here is from New Barn and the ingredient list is obviously a lot shorter it's very comparable to this but the macros are eight fat one carb and three protein um, so I have just been trying to find like a middle ground between the two and Thrive has pulled through I have not tried it yet but I have such high hopes and I really I don't think I'll be disappointed because I've never been disappointed by anything from Thrive so very excited we'll do a full review soon um, but a few other things that I picked up was just some avocado oil some coconut oil those are the only two oils that I cook with I always get questions on what probiotic I use I used to get it at Whole Foods but now now that I know that Thrive has it, I'll definitely be ordering from them. This is the Garden of Life Primal Defense Ultra Probiotic. I stand this probiotic very hard. It's been amazing. Then this, I really just wanted to try out Keto Riced Cauliflower. For half a cup cooked, it's 0.5 fat, 10 grams of carbs, 4 grams of fiber, and 4 grams of protein. I haven't fully decided what I'm going to do with this yet, but I think this will be a good um, rice replacement if I need it. Then I have some raw pine nuts. These are very, very good for you, and I really like the fact that these are ethically sourced. I've been craving pancakes so much. I used to use the flapjack protein pancake mix. Can't really have that anymore because it has tons of ingredients in there that I personally can't have. So I'm making a switch to coconut flour. I've used almond flour before and it's really good but a lot of people have recommended coconut flour so I'll be trying this out for my next 
pancake recipe. I love anything coconut, so I think that this is gonna be a really good replacement for flour in my life. A few other things that I got was just some sardines and are these sardines or are these? Tuna, oh no, this is tuna. So, canned sardines and canned tuna. This is just in water with salt, that's it. I've been struggling with on-the-go meals, although I don't eat them very often. Um, I just think that's when it gets really difficult for <laughs> the diet that I'm currently trying to follow. So, I think this is gonna be a really good way for me to just have some protein. And then I also got some organic ketchup. This is definitely something that I have been struggling with because the ketchup that I have has sucralose in it and I'm trying hard not to have that. So the ingredients in here are organic tomato concentrate, organic balsamic vinegar, and then salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and spices. That's it. Amazing. Oh, and also another thing that I've really, really been craving lately is like tacos, um, which is actually why I got the ketchup because I used to make them on Munchie Mondays all the time. I don't know if you guys remember, but I would make like soft tacos and I would put um, Beyond Meat ground beef in there and then put ketchup on top and some egg white and it was so good. So I've been trying to find kind of like a replacement for like a burrito wrap almost. <laughs> this is kind of big, so definitely is more of a burrito than a taco. But anyway, five fat, six carb, two fiber, and one gram of protein, and a very short ingredient list with everything that I can have. So stay tuned for my next Munchie Mondays, because I actually think it's gonna be very interesting as to how I incorporate all of these into my diet. So if you guys are new and you're interested in trying them out, then you can go through the link in my description bar and you'll get 25% off plus the 30 day free trial. Um, their prices are already very low. I think that you'll be very happy <laughs> with what you see. Um, and if you are already a member, then check your inbox. You probably have a deal in there or just check their website. But with that said, I haven't done a good old vlog in a very long time. And um, my grandma's actually here right now. She's visiting from Ukraine. Today's actually her last day. Um, she goes back tomorrow. So we're gonna try and make last day bus day here in California. We're gonna go to Manhattan Beach, which is one of my favorite places here. It's just such a cute little beach town. So we're gonna try and hopefully get a little bit of a tan. I think we both need it. I definitely do. My grandma's been like going to the pool a lot and stuff, so she's a lot tanner than I am. We grab some lunch. I don't know. We'll see where the day takes us, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys along, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of this video. So clearly I am very rusty when it comes to vlogging because my grandma and I just spent the last two and a half hours at the beach and I did not pull up my camera. I completely forgot that I even brought it. But she's out here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> she's eating a peach right now. <laughs> so they had to know that this. So right now our plan is to put more money on the car into like the little meter thing so we don't get a ticket and then we're gonna go grab some coffee, just chill. That's kind of the plan for right now but we definitely got a little bit of a tan. I think I kind of fell asleep for a little bit so I might have burned. So my grandma went back to Ukraine today and I just feel like honestly this vlog has been all over the place. So we're gonna go ahead and end it here. I just feel like I've gotten so used to making more sit down videos, more structured videos. The vlogging has become not as natural to me as it used to be. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.